Hello everyone, welcome to Taxation Math. In this session, we are going to discuss about few more prefixes that denote number, amount or quantity. In previous session or in a sequence, we were discussing about the same thing from the last few sessions. So this is our part fifth for the medical prefixes. Okay. So what we will do, firstly I will uh, tell you about the prefix that we are going to discuss and then we will see the few examples for the same. So let's see what all information we have today. The first one is uni. Uni is a prefix that is used in order to showcase the sense of one. Okay. So whenever you want to show something as one or uni, then in that case you will use the pr prefix uni. Okay. Now to explain this more, what we will do, we will see some uh, examples. I have already noted down here. So let's see one by one. The first example is unicystic kidney, unicystic kidney, which means a kidney with only one functional cyst. So let's say if someone is suffering from a, unicus, a unicystic kidney, then it means his, uh, his uh, kidney, his or her kidney is uh, functioning only on one cyst. Okay, so that uh, again, you can see this one, one functional cyst is represented by the prefix uni okay fine then we have unilateral renal agnesis here it is mentioned co-genital absence of one kidney so let's say if by birth someone has only one kidney and uh, he's uh, living on only one kidney then in that case we can say it is a unilateral renal agnesis or co-genital absence of one kidney so again the one is represented with the keyword or the prefix uni then we have uni compartmental replacement knee replacement okay so you can see replacement of only one compartmental of the knee joint then in that case we can use the uni prefix in order to show only one part of the one compartmental of the knee joint okay so all the these three examples are composed with the key, uh, prefix medical prefix uni which is making a sense of one clear now we will move to the next slide on next slide we have another prefix which is olic few or little so whenever we want to showcase something as few or very less amount or little then in that case we will use the uh, medical prefix olic so here are here you can see couple of example oligodactyl which means having fewer than usual number of finger and toes okay so if someone has only fewer or uh, very less a uh, number of uh, fingers or toes in their hand or foot then in that case we will uh, use the terminology as oligodactyl dactyly oligodactyly okay and here we are using olig in order to showcase the sense of single oh, sorry not single a few or little then we have oliguria oliguria means reduced uh, urine production often inactive of kidney dis often indicate sorry often indicative of kidney dysfunction so let's say if someone is uh, suffering from kidney dysfunction then the, uh, then it, he or she may uh, suffer from the reduced urine production so that thing we will denote with the medical terminology oliguria and the prefix we are using here is olic which is again making a sense of few or less or a uh, little amount okay fine then we have oligo articular oligo articular means involving or affecting only a few joints so let's say if someone is suffering from arthritis but uh, only few joints are affected by the arthritis in that case we will use the terminology oligo articular where oligo is representing the very few or less amount and articular is representing about the art arthritis okay so yeah then we have oligopeptide oligopeptide means a molecule consisting of a small amount of amino acid linked together a molecule consisting of a small amount of amino acid linked together so when again you can see here small amount is denoted with the help of olic prefix fine 
all right now let's move to the next slide on next slide we have techie this is something uh, which is used to show the movement okay i would say movement not the number or denote numbers because this is something related to the speed okay let's see what all example we have so techie is mainly used in order to showcase the sense of fast or fastness for example whenever you want to show something uh, as a high or rapid heart rate then you will use the terminology tachycardia where tech is representing fastness rapid heart rate typically greater than 100 beats per minute if someone's heart is beating 100 beat per greater than 100 beat per minute then he is suffering from tachycardia or that condition we can say as tachycardia so tech is used to show the fastness similarly we have tachypnea in which we use in order to showcase the rapid breathing typically greater than uh, 20 breath per minute so let's say if someone is taking breathing 20 uh, greater than 20 breath per minute then he this condition we will uh, called as tachypnea okay all right then we have next term as tachyphonia uh, that means rapid and high pitch speech so if someone is talking very speedy very fastly then in that case we will uh, consider that condition as tachyphonia okay then we have tachysystole tachysystole means rapid contraction of heart heart ventricles so if your heart ventricles are uh, contracting very fastly very rapidly then in that case again we will use the term tracky which is used to showcase the sense of fastness okay so this is all about the techie now we have one more prefix that is completely opposite to techie which is ready so let's say if you would like to showcase something as uh, with the sense of slowness so when you want to show something as with the sense of slow slowness then we will use the term ready okay so to showcase that what we will do uh, I'll, I'll show you some example here which is just opposite to the uh, previous uh, slide like bradycardia bradycardia means a heart rate below 60 beat per minute at rest here uh, you can find one example as well so whenever heart is beating lesser than 60 beat per minute then we will consider that condition as a bradycardia okay then we have bradypenia bradypenia means slow breathing typically below 12 breath per minute so if someone is breathing with a 12 uh, with less than 12 breath per minute then that condition is considered as a bradypenia for example think a meditating monk taking a one deep inhale every minute so that condition you can say he is taking a slow breath so that means it is a condition of bradypenia then we have bradygastria that means slowing emptying of the stomach leading to nausea so this condition is also considered as a uh, like this con this terminology uh, is composed with the medical term prefix as bready which is showing the slowness then we have bready kinesia bready kinesia means slowness of the movement often seen in parking disease parkinson diseases if someone is suffering from parkinson diseases then he is uh, we, we can observe uh, properly that his movement is quite slow as compared to the normal movement whether it's a hand movement leg movement so he is uh, uh, moving their hands or foot very slow so in that case we will consider that con condition as bradykinesia where slowness is shown by the prefix bready okay so yeah these are the all prefixes that uh, i uh, put together for today's session the first one is uni then we have olig then we have techy where uni is sh uh, showing the sense of one olig is showing the sense of few or little techy is showing fast and bready is showing slowness okay so yeah that's all for today and the question for today is what information is provided by the prefix poly and tetra i highly recommend you to put the answer of these things it will help you to share your knowledge also if someone is not aware of these things so he can directly refer to the uh, comment section and if you are not able to answer this thing then um, i would recommend you to go and check out the previous sessions because i'm just 
putting only those questions which has been already covered in our series and you know that we we are covering everything in a proper series so yeah please check this out if you are not aware and if you are uh, aware of these answers then please share your knowledge in the comment section okay so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share with